Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and we are back with another Incredibles tutorial. So, Incredibles 2 is coming out in June, so let's go ahead and draw Mrs. Incredible. Last week we drew Mr. Incredible, let's draw Mrs. Incredible. Alright, we're going to start off with laying out her entire body and then filling in the details. So, Mrs. Incredible has more of a normal head compared to Mr. Incredible. And the thing about her head is it's very round and it's probably the rest of her is super skinny. What we're gonna do, bring out, and we're just gonna draw from the hips down. All right, shoulders. So her, she's got a super skinny neck. And this is like the entirety of her hair plus her, her face. All right, and then we're gonna bring out her chest, go in. And then we're gonna jump over here and give this more of a defined area for her arm. So we have one arm going this way and the rest of her chest going inwards into her waistband. Jump over here and it's a quarter turn once again. So we're seeing more of this side as opposed to this side. And then we're gonna bring down this arm. And then this one's gonna go inwards. And then this one over here is gonna go inwards as well. And I made this way too wide. It's gotta be skinnier. So we bring this one in and this one in. Bring down her hips. And I'm just gonna go ahead and mark off this area for her fingers and then her hand. We'll see her whole hand going out this way and our thumb tucked behind her hip. All right, now let's go ahead and start filling in some details into her face. So this is a quarter turn. That means I'm gonna go ahead and divide right down the middle and then go ahead and make that eye line. I'm gonna go ahead and draw one eye right here. So we're gonna go off to the side just a little bit, bring up this side, round out the bottom, and close over here. I'm gonna round out the bottom over here, bring down this side, and then close it off as over here as well. Since we're seeing more of this side, then we are seeing this side. And she's going to be very similar to Mr. Inc Mr. Incredible. She has a black mask on. Before I go ahead and do that, what I'd like to do is go ahead and lay out her nose. So her nose is, instead of a circle, we're gonna go ahead and give her this little bit of a triangle shape down a little bit lower. I'm gonna bring it just down a little bit more right here. There we go. And then she is smiling, so we're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna mark off that smile for right now. And we'll shape up her face in a second. Before we shape up her face, I'd like to go ahead and draw her mask. So I'm gonna go in the middle, to the middle part of that mask where we see that and dention going inwards. We're gonna go up to the side above her eye, round it down, go down this way, back to the nose ridge, go underneath her eye, so her eyes are right here on her left side, so we're gonna go underneath all the way, go to that point at the end of the mask, and then we're gonna go up and over. And the thing is, her hair is going to cover this side of her face. Before we fill in the rest of everything, I'd like to go ahead and give her more of a shape to her face. So I'm gonna bring down her forehead. Her forehead comes, goes to her mask right here. And then it's gonna go outwards from her mask. It's gonna go in, give more of an indention to her chin. And back over off to the side. So that's her overall face. So for her eye, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the corner, give her her pupil iris area, and then we're going to jump over off to this side and give her her pupil iris area. And what's nice about these is that we don't really have to worry about eyelashes or eyelids or anything just because we're covering everything up with a black mask. But we do have one little bit of an eyelid over here on Mrs. Incredible and another bit of an eyelid over here. So that means it's going to be lighter there because the light is hitting it. And it's going to be lighter in the middle where that nose ridge is. So let's go ahead and fill in the rest of her black mask. So 
So we made this nice and dark and we're just lightly shading in these two areas and I'm just going to make these a little bit darker to show that these are eyelids and then darker on top of where her eyelashes would be. Then I'm going to go ahead and give her her pupil iris and she has, a br she has brown eyes. Next, what I'd like to do for her nose is we're just going to give her a little bit of a nostril here and a nostril here, and we're just going to shade underneath, and what we're going to do is make this. We're going to make a crease right here, and then a crease over here for this side of her nose, and that's because she just has a little bit more of a pointed nose than others. Make, make it look too much like a piggy nose. <laughs> so we have one nostril over here that we're seeing more on this side. And just go ahead and shape this in and up to the side. The crease in her lips is going to go right underneath her nose. And we're going to bring up this side over here. Have the crease in the lips. Go ahead and fill in underneath, completing that full top lip. Bring down this side, curve back inwards, and it's an open smile. So we're going to go underneath, fill in that bottom. So we want more of this side of her teeth showing. After that, let's go ahead and fill in her hair. So I'm going to start up here from the part in her hair. So it's going to go straight across the top of her mask. We have this whole section that goes up. It's going to go up, curve down, and back behind her head. And you're going to go through her neck to keep that same level because we're going to go right up and connect this part. So this part is lower than this one. This one's taller and this one's lower. And you wanna go through her neck because you wanna keep that overall shape. And then this part actually it curls around. So it curls around, goes up, and back into her hair. But it covers this side of her face. So if you erase this part and other guidelines you'll see a little bit better where the shape of her hair is going. So Mrs. Incredible has dark hair so if you want to go ahead and fill that in but now that you see it you can see more of a shape to her hair once you get rid of most of the guidelines. And she does have a bunch of low lights in her hair so if you want to go ahead and incorporate those as well and just to kind of like break up the bottoms to make it more like realistic hair go ahead and do that and show you guys what I'm thinking. Now let's go ahead and fill in her body a little bit more. Now that we have more of her face, we're going to go ahead and make her neck a little bit longer. And we're going to go ahead and cut off this piece right here just because that is a collar to her overall uniform. Not uniform, super suit. <laughs> Alright, so we have the top to the super suit and then we're going to go ahead and bring down this side right here. Now Mrs. Incredible does look weird once again just because she has a large face but a very small body. Curve upwards back into her body. Bring this around. We're going to go ahead and even out this side so this side goes out more. Goes down into her body. And then her logo will be right underneath her collar right here. So it's going to go right across the top. And let's go ahead 
It's actually going to go all the way off to the side right here. And then her shoulder on this side, I want to make sure it's still even. Bring it outwards, curve inwards. off right at the crease of her elbow and then skinny going down and then her waist will be right about here and we're gonna go up with her belt and then round it and then she's going to extend out this way just a little bit and then we're gonna start with her fingers and these we just see them curled around the side so it goes down in down more right here so this is like we don't see all of her hand over here we just see it on her side and then we're gonna see more of her hands so we have her thumb back here curved around one hand going this way so one finger here one finger here bring down the side of her hand bring this down curve it around finger and then another finger One hip will go this way and the other hip will go this way so it's like rested on there and then we have the tops of her underwear pieces <laughs> her, her the black part of her uniform go here and here her make these a little bit more curved they're just resting like she's in the superhero pose so they're just resting on the side So I'm going to jump up to the eye and I'm going to go ahead and give that eye part So we're going to make the top of the eye, bring down this part of the eye, go down and then this part will go off the side of her chest and then this part will go down across the eye and connect to the bottom and then this is going off to the side and let's do a little bit of shading. So of course we're gonna shade underneath her face. I wanna start up at her face and her neck. So we have a lot of shading going on alongside of her hair and down along her chin. A little bit more shading along lips little bit more shading alongside of her nose and then her nose ridge going downwards. Some shading across her forehead. And then we have shading going on right here like Mr. Incredible just to like give a little bit more definition to her chest. So shading is what's really going to make everything a little bit more defined as opposed to hard lines. So we shade underneath her arm right here, across her chest, and then down. And a little bit of shading off to the side over here. And then we have to shade in the eye. underarm right here
There you go, there is how to draw Mrs. Incredible, Mr. Incredible. So let's go ahead and do Violet, Dash, and Jack Jack, and maybe if we can get to Frozone too, I'd like to do a tutorial on Frozone because I think he's like everyone's favorite character. And even if we have time, Edna Mode. I mean, let's just go crazy on this incredible summer. But yes, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you check out Pixar's Incredibles 2 this summer. Bye!